everybody, it's Stacy with As The Tea Brews. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, a box from Old Barrel Tea Company. This is their winter subscription box. So um, I did get this right before Christmas. So their quarterly subscriptions come with six, um, six tins of tea and they are a little bit smaller than their normal size tins of tea. And this box is $48 and it comes four times a year. Okay, so their boxes always come with a little note about the season and kind of what inspired them to pick these teas. Um, and it's always kind of fun. And I won't read this whole thing, but it just says, winter is just so charming. For our family, winter is a time to slow down together. We never miss out on a snow day, even those of us who work from home. Um, we often stay home, uh, baking, playing cards, watching movies, having tea by the fire. And so it's like this cozy kind of season. And that's what they were thinking of when they picked these teas. Okay. And then there's always a seasonal sticker. And this one is pretty generic. It says Old Barrel Tea Company with the wood grain background on it. Um, and then there comes a little paper with the teas how to enjoy them and something about the teas, um, which I refer to these a lot. I save them and I actually really like these um, that they come with it because it has a little bit more information than comes on their tins. So let's get started. So the first one is lavender sage lemonade and chamomile and this is an herbal tea. And this one has that citrus um, along with the, the chamomile and this is perfect with honey, especially if you're not feeling well um, at night, um, or just to stay cozy. I think this one would be really good iced also. Um, although I have a couple others, um, with the, the lavender sage lemonade, um, mix that I really do like iced. Um, I have not had it with the chamomile yet, but I've had both of these teas separately. Okay. The next one is winter cabin and vanilla rooibos. Winter Cabin is one of my favorite teas from them. I love, love Winter Cabin. So I was really excited to see this blend. I have not bought their vanilla rooibos, although I have had it mixed into some blends before. Um, I was super excited about this blend and I've had this a couple times, but I did just brew it up to remind myself what I thought of it. And I actually over steeped this. Um, but what I have found with a lot of their teas, they don't get bitter if you steep them too long. Um, at least the pu'ers, which Winter Cabin is a pu'er, I steep those at 200 and usually about 10 minutes. And I kind of forgot about this one and I think it went maybe 15 minutes. Um, the only thing I can taste more is that that coffee flavor, because uh, they have some coffee beans in there, has come out just a little bit more. Um, but I can definitely taste the, the mint and the vanilla also. So oh, ideally, I think this um, blend would be awesome and perfect, but, and I don't know if it's just my tin, I think I got more of the vanilla rooibos than the winter cabin, and I would have liked to have more of the winter cabin than the vanilla rooibos in there, um, just because I love winter cabin so much. Um, but this is still a really good tea, and I can get all the flavors in here. Um, it's just not as strong with the winter cabin flavor as I personally would like. Um, winter Cabin is amazing, it's delicious. It used to be called Christmas Cabin, um, but it's like mint and pu'er and um, chocolate and coffee beans, and it's so good, so good. Okay, the next one is Apple Empanada. And this one is really good also. This is a honey bush, um, and this is a caffeine-free one. And this is one that I've wanted to try for a really long time, and I just never bought it. Um, but it smells, it smells like a hot mold apple cider, um, with all those spices in it. And, um, it kind of, it tastes like that too. And so this is a really nice, uh, one when you want kind of a sweet treat in the evening. And, um, of course you can add honey to any of these and make them sweet. Um, but I just mean like a natural sweetness that comes through. Uh, the next one is pecan pie pu'er. And I really like this tea and I have owned this one before. Um, and I have tried it in different blends, uh, but I like it a lot, um, but I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorite pu'ers from them, um, but, and they do have several pu'ers that I love, love, love. Yeah, no, but this one's really good. It's like a, you can smell like the nutty and toastiness, um, 
with that. And I feel like the pecan goes really well with the pu'er. Uh, but this one's really good. Um, I enjoy this one a lot. And, um, but I think I like winter cabin and banana nut bread pu'er better than this one. Um, but this one's really good too. I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorites, but it's really good. Okay, now this is um, one that they, this is a combination of mocha mate and bourbon brew. And I've had bourbon brew and mocha mate. <clears throat> Actually, I have them both separately <laughs> in tins in my pantry right now. Um, bourbon brew, I have had mixed with several different teas. Uh, and this one, this one is really good. This one um, makes that kind of caramely flavor from the bourbon brew um, and adds a little bit of like a chocolate flavor to it, um, like a toasty chocolate flavor. And it's um, actually really nice. And there's an Irish, Irish one with the bourbon brew that was my favorite bourbon brew blend, but this one may have topped that. Um, but this has uh, yerba mate and pu'er and rooibos in it and it's really good. Um, it's like that chocolate caramely kind of flavor, like I said. And then the last one is berry, and this is herbal. Now, I've had a sample of berry um, by itself, but I've never bought this one. <laughs> um, and I hate saying I'm disappointed with this tea, but I'm a little bit disappointed because I don't like this tea by itself. Um, but it's a good mix in to different teas. Uh, it's too tart for me, plain. And the first ingredient is hibiscus and then rose hips, blueberries, strawberries, natural flavor. Um, I liked this one. I've had this one with the mocha mate and um, that was really good. And I imagine this might be really good in some other blends also. I'll have to experiment with that, but I don't love this one plain, the berry. And so that's the only negative about getting these um, boxes is that sometimes you get stuff that maybe you don't love um, but then also you get things that maybe you would never have bought and end up being one of your favorite teas and so um, it kind of goes both ways um, but either way they're always fun to try I enjoy getting them um, and I look forward to trying new things when they come out so that or that is all the teas that came in this box they also always give this little um, token um, which you can take in store for 15% off of loose leaf at any of their locations. I don't have any of their locations near me, but last summer I did get the opportunity to visit two of their locations. Um, I do have videos about that. Um, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I highly recommend visiting one of their locations if you can. And as a um, club member, you also get 15% off of their loose teas um, on their website. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if you have any comments or any questions about these teas. And I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.